just here around to everyone who is on this channel and uh, let's see uh, today I'm gonna see the workload identity between two projects um, because usually when you work with the Google documentation and everything you see the workload identity is always with the one project uh, between the pro between the project itself uh, but today we're gonna see how you can access uh, a resource which is there in the uh, project B from the project A where your Kubernetes is running so um, we'll try to achieve that um, and uh, let's go from there so we'll follow the Google workload identity document and uh, wherever we need to change the service accounts and the project will change the same so I got uh, I already have uh, some of the setup like uh, I already have uh, a Kubernetes server running so you see I already have a test server running where I have a workload identity enabled so when you go to Google documentation uh, the very first thing they say create a cluster which is uh, which has a workload identity enabled so do that if you already have an existing cluster where the workload identity is not enabled follow the documentation and uh, uh, you'll be able to enable that and just make sure you do that update your node pool uh, along with that so I have, a workload, uh, I have a Kubernetes cluster with a workload identity so let's go from there so first let's create um, first let's create our uh, namespace uh, uh, in our Kubernetes cluster where we're gonna uh, test our workload identity and so I'm, I have already authenticated so I got two projects I'll show you the projects before that so I have got two projects one is my learning pro and my learning pro 2 so I have Kubernetes cluster running in my learning pro and uh, I'll will access the secret uh, which is in my learning pro too okay and so let's do that so if you see my i'm currently uh, with account pro 2 but my kubernetes cluster is running my pro and i have authenticated with the same so let's create a namespace which is test ns now what is the other thing that says um, let's create a service account uh, which is test test ksa which is a kubernetes service account under test ns now we need to uh, create a service okay that we did Okay, now we need a Kubernetes. We need a Google service account in our project two, so which will be test GSA, and we'll create it under my learning project two. So, gcloud config list. If you see that, that I am in my learning project two. So let's create a service account. Let's see our service. Let's see if the service account is created or not. I'm in my learning pro, change it to my learning pro 2. I am service accounts, okay. Test GSA is created. Well, next, now we need to add some bindings. So we are going to create some secret and we are going to access those secret using our, um, using our service account. So we need to give a service account the access so it can access those secret. So first uh, let's, uh, so we have to give the access, uh, access accessor. So I'll just do the, okay, let's copy it. This should be two. We are doing it in. Then we have a test GSA, and the role name would be uh, test secret. Okay, so that's created. Okay, so my 
our GSA service account has access to uh, has permission to access the secret. Now let's create some secret in my learning pro 2. Okay. I already have some secret here, uh, but yeah, you can create another one which is like create a new one. Very secret value. Okay. Now, what's the next step? Okay. Now we need to create the workload identity. So for that, you just need to follow this command uh, where you just have to create the policy for binding and which is you create this binding in the project two, where your GSA service account exists. So this one is my learning pro two because your workload identity is created in my learning project. Okay. Then your test NS, which is and your test uh, um, Kubernetes service account. Okay. That looks good. All right, so your workload identity is created. Now we need to annotate this using a kubectl. We need to annotate the service account and uh, by telling it and what is the GCP service account we need to use, Google service account we need to use um, when we are uh, checking all the like when we are running the pod. So now our service account is test case a namespace is same. This is good. This is good. Okay. Okay, so your service account is annotated. Okay, that's good to go. Now I just gave a permission to access the secret. I didn't give any role, so there will be a failure um, because we didn't give any viewer role. So that this particular service account has to see the project time from project metadata, so project information. So we'll have to give another role. But before I do that, I would like to run the project and we'll, would like to show you. I would like to run a pod in the our Kubernetes cluster and would like to show you what is the error it's going to be. So we have a test pod. So that test pod, uh, I'm going to do the Kube config list to show you that I, we are using the GSS service account we mentioned because we are using a workload identity and the project we're going to set. Before that, the project will be my learning pro and after we set it, it's going to change to my learning pro too. And then we're going to list it, try to list it. Um, in our test NS. Okay. I'm going to change uh, namespace to test NS and uh, I'm going to change our service account to test KSA, which we created. Okay. Okay. Our pod is created now. Okay, it threw the error. So if you see what it's saying, your Google service account that is there does not have permission to access the project instance. Okay, so now let's key the viewer role and see if it works. So I'm gonna run the same command that we ran before when we gave role with Tools as a viewer. Now let's run the pod again by deleting it here. So I deleted the pod. Apply. And here you go. Congratulations, you are able to see access the secret which is in the project B and you are running uh, your Kubernetes cluster in project A and using a workload identity without sharing your um, without sharing your JSON, JSON key for your secret account, service account you are able to access the access all the secrets which is in the project B from a project A where your Kubernetes cluster is running so um, yeah that is what I wanted to show and uh, this is what we wanted to achieve so I mean, like, you can, if you have any of this scenario where you wanted to um, access the resource in Project B and your Kubernetes cluster is running in Project A, I mean, like, this is where it will help you out. Um, 
I'm also going to create some document around it, uh, maybe. Uh, so I'll share the document uh, um, in the in the description um, along with my GitHub repo. So that's where you can look at all the information and copy the same uh, in case you need it. So thank you very much, and this is where I'll say, Dhaniwat.